Hey guys, uh, just want to show you how you can download uh, Revit, Navisworks, and other Autodesk software applications for free uh, with your EDU uh, email account. So the first thing you want to do is to create an account with Autodesk. So you want to just tap autodesk.com and go to the home page. You will see here, uh, upper right, there's a sign in button. You just go sign in. And you know if you haven't created an account, uh, this is the first step: create account. And you can finish the information here. Uh, but please note, use your ufl.edu email once again. Use your ufl.edu account. Don't use your Gmail. Don't use your Hotmail. Only use your edu email account. This is the only way for Autodesk to know that you are a student. So they can give you the license for free for a year. So once this is done, no hurry, don't sign in yet. You just go uh, go back to the Autodesk homepage. And they're hiding this EDU thing perfectly. So we want to go to support and go to educational support. And once you are in, just uh, move the page down. Keep going until you see confirm your eligibility, unlock your access, and click this guide products. So Autodesk is changing their way of downloading the software every year. They're making this you know, more difficult now. Um, okay, so once this uh, page is open, you can see uh, uh, on this page it shows all the programs uh, that you as a student can use for free for a year. Uh, so let's say, let's assume you have created a account with your edu email already so now it's time to sign in and put your email address here next uh, put your password and if this is your first time trying to log in it probably will uh, ask you to you know you send you a pin number to your phone or your email address but since i have done that i probably can skip that all right so now once i sign in just give it a second once I set in, uh, it shows that um, basically for you, if your first time sign in, uh, it will pop out some another you know uh, window showing that uh, get started. And you go there, they will ask you some questions such as uh, which university, which country. Uh, so once that is done, they're gonna send you an email to your EDU account, and you just verify that you are the user of that EDU account then you're going to see this page uh, you know for the same program page you you now see all the get started becomes get products so let's say uh, for our first assignment and also the first module of learning we want to learn Revit Revit not Revit generative design but this Revit this Revit and just go get product uh, now we can pick the versions of that uh, so we want to use the latest version, uh, 2022. The thing is, uh, if you're using a newer version, you can open all the files from the older version. But if you're using an older version, you cannot open the file generated in a newer version. So for example, if you are working with your teammate on some project, and uh, uh, your teammate is using 2022 version, but you are using a 2021, then you cannot open the model of your teammate, but your teammate can open your model. So my recommendation is to always install the latest version. And you will see uh, in the future, the UI of these different versions are pretty much the same. So let's go just go in store. And of course you want to accept. And once that is done, to download some kind of installer uh, on your local and just uh, open that. Just give it a second. Now it will open this uh, uh, installer. Uh, let me tell you, so Revit and Navisworks, pretty much all the Autodesk programs are huge. You're talking about six, seven gigabit. Some of them actually 11 gigabit. Um, so the installer is only just the beginning of that. So once you start a process, 
keep your computer open and keep your computer connected to the internet for at least three hours. Let this installer finish its job. If you shut down a computer, if you disconnect from your internet, a lot of times you cannot finish the remainder of your installation and you have to start over. You know, I know it's very frustrating, but keep your computer on and open and your internet connected for at least three hours for them to finish you know, the installation. And once that process is done, if it's your first time trying to open the software, there will be a pop-out window asking you to activate your uh, software. Just do it one time and in the following year, you are good to go. You can use the program uh, for free for a year. Uh, Autodesk has recently changed their license uh, you know, rules. Before, you could pretty much use it for free for, I don't know, six, seven years, but now they limited that to only one year. Okay, so I'm going to just stop here. Um, yeah, this is the installer. I'm just going to install. I'm going to stop here, uh, and uh, I hope you guys uh, are doing great with this installation, and uh, see you guys soon.